want to be negative against the Baton Rouge Police Department because I love working there. Mm. But what they got now is what, what we call community relations. It's not community policing. And community relations is different from community policing because they sponsor events. They go, they, they, uh, 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 they go talk to the people at the schools and all that kind of stuff. But they, it's not actually being out there working with the people day to day. That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Did y'all practice or did you practice any uh, police community relations uh, in the, you know, like going out and talk to the communities? Did oh. you do it or you're forced to? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I used to work in the division uh, and I used to work on Gus Young community policing. Mm. And I tell you, that's one of the most rewarding division uh, and most rewarding things that I've ever done. Because what we did was, and I'm not talking about community relations, I'm talking about community policing. Mm. It's, a, it's a difference. What we did was we got out our unit, we walked the streets, we talked to the neighbors and all that. We actually communicate with everybody that we've we seen and we try to work on that problem. We uh, adopted the school. At, at that time it was us, uh, uh, Greenville mm. and, and Captain Miller. We, uh, they, we started a basketball team. We, uh, as a matter of fact, I was a coach on the basketball team. Uh, 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 I did. Uh, we actually became part of the community and I, I truly enjoyed it because when we were doing community policing, everybody we got in contact with had our, had our cell phone number. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, we gave everybody uh, 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 a means to contact us. So when, they, when something happened, we were their police officers. And so wow. and, they would, and they would contact us. And so when, when you know, we had at, at problems like when they were dealing drugs at 38 and Kane or uh, certain areas, but well, we went there and we claimed those corners and we, we actually we renamed them. They wasn't, uh, it wasn't 38 and Kane anymore, it was Larry and Bowles company then. And they mm -hmm. knew that. So I think that if the police officers were going right, put the windows down, have a conversation with the people that you, you, you're policing. You, uh, go in these stores and talk to these people and all that. That once you do, if you do that, they start looking past the uniform and start looking at. They don't look at me. What look would look at me as Officer Larry or uh, Officer Lewis? They look at me as Larry. Just just Larry, and that's that's what you want them to to, to do. Uh, they had a stat that came out there how much we had dropped crime. We dropped crime so much out there it was unbelievable. I, and I think I still got uh, the form here. We had a ninety percent drop in crime rate out there when we were done. Wow. Yeah, no, but. I don't want you to go to any administrative any, any, any administrative uh, reasons as to why it was uh, disbanded, but why do you think that, that they didn't keep that particular uh, situation going? Because that, that, that was very impressive to know but, that you were... They, they said it was manpower issue. Uh, 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 now, you know, I got my own belief, but they said it was manpower issues and uh, they moved us from there to uh, to the at that time, the 700 Club, but uh, uh, it it actually worked. I don't want to be negative against the Baton Rouge Police Department because I love working there. Mm -hmm. But what they got now is what, what we call community relations. It's not community policing. And community relations is different from community policing because they sponsor events. They go, they, they, uh, 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 they go talk to the people at the schools and all that kind of stuff. They, it's not actually being out there working with the people day to day. I you like know. what you, I like what you said because that definitely answers the question that I was going to ask you. Like in your opinion, mm -hmm. while on the force or, or you know now that you off the force, what do you think could have uh, could have been done to help relations uh, within the community? And you definitely uh, expand on that because I was I was I was very. I was impressed with the fact that y'all were able to get the uh, the the cell phone numbers, or they were y'all were able to give ourselves yeah. to people in the community, and that helps pre help pre uh, prevent a lot of crime and stuff like that. And that was very impressive. Yeah, well, people can call us, and and, and they we used to get calls all the time, the day and night, and they tell us what's going on, who's doing what, and all that. And uh, 
not just rat, but they wanted to be safe in, the, in, in their right. own environment. And right. everybody wanted to be safe in their own environment. And right. so we did. And because we were responsible for that particular area, if if they wasn't if they didn't feel safe or we didn't do our job, they they come back at us. So and and uh, uh, my thing is we had accountability.